Good morning, everyone. I hope everybody's having a great day so far. Um, I wanted to talk really quickly about bone spurs. They're no fun. Um, I am part of a lot of different groups online, forums, Facebook, Twitter, you name it, that has to do with dentures. And I see a lot of people talking about how they're you know, they have bone spurs that are aggravating them, they're in discomfort, but they're also talking about picking at them and forcing them out. Not all bone spurs are created equally. So it's really important to remember that sometimes what you think is a bone spur is actually a splinter of the bone that's still connected, it still has its blood supply. You wanna let those heal up on their own. For me, I had several of those and they reabsorbed back into my jaw. Uh, that was the best thing for them because during your extractions, a lot of your jaw can get damaged. The extraction sites can get damaged, things like that, and that's to be expected. But yes, there can be chips of teeth, chips of bone, uh, root tips, all different kinds of things like that that can be left in there um, and try to surface uh, through the tissue. But you want to be careful how much you're forcing them out. If you can kind of get it with your fingernail or a pair of tweezers and it comes out pretty easily on its own, that's okay. But if it's not coming out or you're getting more pain with trying to dig these things out of your out of your tissue, you need to consult with your medical professional, whoever that is, dentist, denturist, oral surgeon, prosthodontist, whoever. You wanna ask them what they recommend. I know for me, salt water rinses really helped a lot. And then um, a Benzodent was really great. I pretty much slathered it all inside my dentures and I would just stick them in because I know that those bone spurs can make your dentures not fit right. They can be really uncomfortable. They can cause you a lot of pain with eating or talking or just biting down in general. So I know how painful they are, but be careful at how much you're forcing them out. Um, if it's still connected to the tissue, it's going to get worse. Um, meaning that you're just gonna irritate that more. It's If it's still connected to the bone, you might cause more problems than it's worth. So I would definitely talk to your medical professional, whoever you're going to for your dental needs and ask them about it. Um, again, salt water rinses. I used raw honey frozen and I'd break it off into little chunks and just put it in my mouth. So the cold really helped with the irritation. The honey also helped with the irritation. And then the Benzodent really helped when I had my dentures in. But just be careful when you're picking at them because they're not all created equally. There's all different types. Um, Tories are also another issue, but normally that gets addressed if you do have them, the little bumps, um, and can be taken care of with avioplasty. So when I had my consult about about three weeks after my extractions, they told me I would have needed avioplasty top and bottom. I had a few bone spurs and the dentist offered to take them out. I declined and said, I'll just let them take care of themselves. They'll come out naturally or whatever. And um, come to find out one was actually still a tooth up there. But they wanted me to do avioplasty top and bottom. Um, then come to find out, I just needed it on the top. Once everything was kind of healed up on its own, I didn't really need it on the bottom. So that time to heal really did a good job and made it to where I didn't need that extra procedure on the bottom. I had some damaged sockets on the top where I had um, some bone protruding out towards my lip out here. And so with the avioplasty, they just smoothed out the outer surface. They didn't touch my ridge really, except for just smoothing out where those bones were kind of sticking and protruding outward because it would have created an ill-fitting denture. But otherwise they left everything alone. And all of those issues that I was having with what I thought were bone spurs, um, they ended up just kind of fixing themselves. So really take that into consideration. Um, if you do have bone spurs, be gentle with them. <laughs> 
the more you mess with them, the more you can irritate them. And I totally understand wanting them out of your mouth. I've been there. But talk to your talk to your dentist. Give them a call. See what they recommend. Some of your dentists will offer to you know for you to come in, and they'll just take them out for you, or they'll assess the situation and tell you if it is still connected to the jaw, um, or if there's a, a bigger problem there. If you have a root tip that didn't fully get extracted or whatnot, but just be careful when you're messing with those suckers because they can be nasty um, while they're still in your mouth. Anyway, have a really great day, everybody. I hope that helps some of you with the questions about bone spurs. And if you have them, I'm so sorry. They are no fun. But try to give your gums a little bit of a break, too. You can take your dentures out for, you know, however long. And just give your gums a little bit of a break from the pressure of having the dentures in there if you have to. So, bye, everybody.